Hi guys, Canadian Hunter here. So I've got another unboxing video for you. I um, I had a gun that uh, I saw a gun that was on sale and I just couldn't pass it up. I've wanted one of these for a while and seen lots of reviews online. I've seen lots of mixed reviews, but generally uh, good. And uh, what I picked up was uh, this Snarinko. And um, I couldn't decide. Actually, I wanted one of these. Um, these Norinkos, uh, the one that I wanted was uh, was sort of the the all black one with like the really really nice uh, cherry grips on them, and I wanted one for a long time. And uh, this place I bought it, it's called Marstar in Canada, Marstar.ca. They do lots of Norinko, and um, yeah, they just uh, one day they were just sold out and they were gone. They never got them again, but they do lots of Norinko, and uh, they had their call it a Christmas sale. And I was actually on vacation at the time, and I just uh, I bought this uh, through my cell phone while I was online. I just I couldn't pass up the deal, and uh, you know they already had my information safe, so it's super easy to do. But was this? This is a um, so this is the Renko. This is the 1911 A1, of course 45 ACP. But this edition, this is what they call their two tone. And I believe they call this the special. Uh, if you look under Norinco or you look under Marstar, so you look for Norinco 1911s and you look under, I believe it's under specials. And uh, this is the uh, extended mag. So this has got the eight round mag in it. Uh, comes with two of those, um, basic cleaning kit. But um, fit and finish, you know, that was the biggest thing I was worried about. <laughs> Sorry guys, I have a cold. Um, you know, and I have to admit, out of the bag, this came in a bag. This had so much oil on it. As soon as I grabbed it, it was just disgusting. My hand was just covered in oil. So all I did last night was took a quick look at it. I haven't dismantled it yet. Um, I just want to really feel the trigger on it. Um, and just wiped all the oil off with just blue paper towel just to kind of get it to where I can somewhat handle it without just being covered in oil. Um, so... I guess features, this has, uh, like say, the two-tone, this has the extended mag, um, you know, skeletonized hammer, skeletonized trigger, uh, ambidextrous safety, um, this has the adjustable rear sight on it, um, which I've seen some guys with mixed reviews on this just because of how it's, uh, it's I guess right now it's, I've seen guys where they have theirs fairly jacked up and then it does move down a lot. Obviously haven't shot it yet, haven't sighted it in yet. I'm going to have to completely dismantle it and clean it properly before I take it to the range. But uh, just picked this up last night and uh, was really excited. I really liked it. And, uh, you know, one of the things I was worried about and, you know, they brag about, uh, you know, this, they go through the feature set and they talk about, you know, uh, all of its features, you know, ambidextrous safety, you know, skeletonized hammer, blah, 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 blah. But then they also talk about, they say, I think they call it a competition trigger. And, uh, you know, I have to admit, you know, the trigger, nice reset, reminds me, very short, reminds me of my Glock, actually. You know, and it doesn't feel that heavy. I, I haven't put the pole on it yet, but uh, super happy with that trigger. And that was the biggest thing I was worried about. Um, you know, the last gun I just picked up, and honestly, within the last month, I've picked up two handguns, uh, both of which were from Hearthstar, actually, and both were affordable and both were on sale. Uh, the last one I picked up was that uh, Zestava um, in 9mm, and I uh, haven't shot that yet either. Unfortunately, I, I bought that gun, went on vacation, you know, uh, on vacation, this one went on sale, bought this one, came back uh, pretty much just after I came back, I was able to, to pick this one up at the post office. And uh, so that's it. I've got a couple guns now that I need to, to play with and honestly uh, dismantle. Um, I don't think I've dismantled the uh, Zestava yet either. I've got to clean that one up as well. But... You know, if you guys are sort of, uh, you know, I'm gonna, this is just an unboxing, I guess, really review, and I haven't shot it yet, so I've really got nothing to report uh, other than first impressions are I really like it. And like I say, the other thing I really like is this trigger. I mean, like it, um, you know, it's, it's a nice trigger. So ambidextrous safety, I am left-handed, as you guys can tell, I always handle my guns left-handed. You're not gonna lie to you, I never use the safety on my guns. 
uh, because I'm, I'm at the range, you know, bang, 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 shoot it, uh, you know, put a couple clips through it, and it's, it's, you know, it's discharged anyway. So I'm not carrying it, um, you know. Again, uh, you know, most of you who are going to watch this video are going to be uh, in the states, but uh, for any Canadians out there, they know what I'm talking about when they say, you know. If you own a gun, especially a restricted handgun in Canada, you know, all you can ever do with them is uh, go to the range and just target shoot with them and that's it. Um, so, you know, again, all these things that uh, are a factor like concealed carry meant and, you know, how many, how many rounds does it hold? I mean, none of that means anything to us um, because really we're just uh, playing with them and that's it. But uh, so I guess, you know, things I'll say right away too, if you've never held one of these, First of all, it's frickin' heavy, uh, which I like, but I mean, you know, as a warning, they're heavy. Uh, these Norinkos are seriously built really well as far as, you know, heft. Uh, this is not a flimsy gun by any means. And actually, I didn't mention it, so I paid $345 Canadian for this gun. Um, little bit, this is actually for Norinko and uh, what Marstar sells. This is one of their little bit more expensive ones. The retail on this is normally $399 Canadian, but uh, they had it for $65 off, and I just couldn't pass that up because, you know, uh, they're already quite cheap, and, uh, you know, to get it... Uh, I guess it's more than, yeah, it was like 20% off. Is that what that is? 65, but yeah, 20% off. So, I mean, I, I couldn't pass it up. So for $345, um, and actually the only thing that kept me away, um, and this is sort of uh, funny because I talk about only shoot the range, but uh, but seven rounds feels, uh, <laughs> feels really short, like not very many. And just having that extra eighth round in there, you know, for when I'm planking at the range, um, you know, if I had to choose between a seven or an eight round gun, now I hope that doesn't bite me in the ass and I have issues with these mags feeding or have any issues. I've seen some guys uh, say they've had some issues, but I'm wondering if they've put the seven or the eight round mag in a seven round gun and I'm not sure if these mags are designed a bit different. Maybe they're buying aftermarket mags and I'd like to believe that, you know, these mags come with this gun and, uh, you know, from what I've been told, you know, the Rinko can be a lot of things, but, uh, but they definitely always shoot and they seem to shoot quite well. So that's it. Uh, that's my Norinko, um, 1911 A1 in two tone. And, uh, if you guys like this video, please click like, and as always, please click subscribe. As soon as I take this thing to the range and shoot it, um, I'll give you guys a bit of an update. Um, I'm hoping to go this weekend. I mean, it is winter time right now in Canada, but, uh, looks like we're going to break in the weather this weekend and, uh, I might be able to take this and this is to the range and, uh, and put some rounds through them so I can give you guys a bit of an update of the two new guns. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.